hello guys and welcome back to the channel now guys whoever thinks that nigeria is one country and nigerians are one people that person really needs to re-examine their thinking because that is as far from the truth as you can possibly get and this story this narrative that i am about to bring you now exemplifies exactly that point photo of emir of kano's daughter shaking hands with vice president yemi oshibanjo sparks debate on arewa twitter so that's the headline photo of emir of kano's daughter shaking hands with vice president yemi oshimbajo sparks debate on arewa twitter so now let's see now what bees the Malamis have in their bonnets this time around. This photo of Princess Khadija Lamido Sanusi, one of the daughters of the Emir of Kano, Sanusi Lamido II, firmly shaking the hands of Vice President Yemi Oshimbajo as she's been introduced to him by her father at a function in Abuja over the weekend has sparked a debate on Arewa Twitter, a section of Nigerian Twitter space where Nigerians from the north express their views. Whilst some northerners view such as haram, that is something that is forbidden, others are of the opinion that it doesn't matter. So read their divergent opinions. So now this is not the opinions on Twitter of the northerners on the simple function of somebody being introduced and of course the obligatory uh, form of introduction shaking hands so male female it doesn't really matter you have been introduced and then you reach out your hand and the other person meets with their hand and you have a firm handshake and this is exactly what happened and this is what has got uh the uh malamis all riled up so now let's see now what they have to say so we go into the comment section to see what the malamis are making of this simple art of shaking hands so we start off with the yoruba name first benga taiwo is the name of this person responding benga taiwo esquire is the name of his handle on twitter and this is what he has to say while those poverty-stricken hypocritical fellows will be shouting it's an haram for her to shake a man, vice president, may God punish poverty, both of pocket and of mind. So now this is now what this guy has to say, which is the opening salvo. But actually the opening salvo is from a commentator called Lakasa de Papel. So Lakasa the paper is the name of this commentator and then his hashtag is sadiq b25 so all he's just written is haram 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 all the way through so that's the first comment and this uh, comment by agbenga uh, is probably a response to that so we go on to the next commentator which is a hashtag timer rex timer rex it's the name of this person i love the last line both of pocket and of mind because some are rich rich but still dumb dumb so she's saying effectively she loved that line uh that uh Wenger said that uh, they are impoverished that got punished uh poverty both of pocket and of mind and she's now making that distinction that because some are rich rich but are dumb, still dumb dumb so yeah you get where she's going with that one so now we go on into the real heartland of the Malamis. So this is a Jikan Mohammed, Jikan Mohammed. So of course you already know where he is coming from and this is what he has to say. This is a man supposedly representing the values of Islam, but it is more like he is representing the West. Please tell him it is a ram to encourage his daughter to shake men that are not uh, Muharrams. So I don't know what Muharrams are, but he is saying that uh, apparently this um, girl shaking the hands of uh, somebody that is not a Muharram, so maybe that would be husband, I'm assuming just from that comment, is a uh, haram to him. So you see already that this thing that is Nigeria is not really something that exists in the hearts and minds of uh, the people who purport to be from that country because of course if you go to Igbo land or Yoruba land or even any other civilized quarters within that space a handshake is a handshake and it's something that you do five ten times in the course of a day you go you know you go to a meeting you shake the hands of the people there you knock on a door you enter you shake the hands of the person you are going to meet either you are male you are female it doesn't really matter in Yoruba land you probably cut see 
but apparently, allegedly, to the Malamis, it is haram. But then again, what is not haram to the Malamis is really where the question is. We go on to the next uh, commentator, H33 is the name of this person, H33. So this is what this person has to say. Truly, if we go by the teachings and practices of uh, Prophet Muhammad, S-A-W, so I don't know what, S -A I know what it means broadly, but I'm not going to attempt it. So if we go by the teachings and the practice of Prophet Muhammad, there is never a time or place where he shaked or, or shook hands is what he should have said, but where he shaked a woman that is not is Muharram. Please, if there is, quote the hadith to justify this argument i am waiting so already they are taking it to their um holy book to go and uh, use it from there because of course the emir of kano is not just a king is also a spiritual leader within the fulani hegemony within the northern space so we go on to the next commentator slim general is the name of this person and then it goes on by the hashtag aliyu Kanka Rofi. So already you know where he is coming from. So now this is what he has to say. Unless she is a minor, the Ebia knew that it was wrong. If she had rejected the handshake, the vice president won't be bothered because he knows religious values. Make her sleep for rest of comments. So this is what this person has to say. So this one is not going aggressively, but still towing that line that this girl should not have uh, shaken the hands of uh, the vice president. So this is now really highlighting the fact that there's a gulf between us as a people because the mindset in the north is completely at odds with the mindset in the in the south. So we are of a completely different thinking. So this really now plays to that narrative now that if you think that uh, Nigeria is one uh, hegemonous entity then you are grossly mistaken because it is certainly not and this again exemplifies that but we carry on let's go on to the next commentator Makanaki. Makanaki is the person that is uh, re responding now and is responding to the previous comment by that uh, one that goes by the title Slim General so now let's see now what this character has to say i went to meet a man in his house for an appointment stretched out my hand to shake him and he just looked at me in a strange way i had to retract my hands just for him to advise me that it is rude and back in the day i would die if he had shook my hands for he is an elder so i'm not quite sure what this person is male or female but apparently just from the photograph showing it looks male so apparently now even men now cannot even shake hands depending on hierarchy now in that society so we don't really now know imagine then that you are just a fresh face a journey come lately into that community and you're shaking hands and you're having conversations they'll just deal with you for no reason and they were because of course you don't understand their culture because their culture is completely of course at odds with yours and of course you are all going under that same title of nigerian so this idea of one nigeria really is just literally a figment of fallacy there's no such thing so let's just uh see if there are any other interesting comments i think there are only two more comments to read so i'll read them both out political thinker is the name of the next commentator political thinker is what he calls himself and this is what he has to say my whatsapp group is still arguing on this too Oshibanjo is in fantimi's mosque what is the sharia ruling concerning a non-believer entering the mosque so even now the uh, vice president of nigeria being in their mosque is an issue so you really see that this thing really cuts deep and really goes in deep so we round off with the last commentator aj mohammed is what he calls himself so he's a northerner of course and so let's now see what he has to say is he a moderate we've not yet come across anyone that is really moderate so far and this is a broad spectrum of people by the way uh so let's now see what this uh, character has to say to round it off prophet kept a prisoner uh to mana bin at Hal in his mosque for three days. Also, Jews came to the Prophet's mosque for discussions and seeking his intervention 
in their affairs conflicts or disagreements so this is now this person now responding to that previous commentator who uh is saying that uh, in his whatsapp group that Oshiba and Joe should not even have entered their mosque so this one seems a bit more level-headed but really the broad thrust of all of this really is to suggest that this idea of one nigeria is really something that doesn't really hold in the hearts and minds of pretty much uh people of the south certainly are uh, a lot more liberal than people of the north but people of the north they uh, see themselves as an entity that just exist within that space but they don't really seem to see themselves as part of a superstructure that is nigeria conversations in the comment section which way nigeria and are you a nigerian is really the question and what is a nigerian is the next question so all these questions up for grabs come tell me what your thoughts are about all this in the comment section so i'll leave you here then you click on uh, subscribe and uh, the like button and uh the bell button as well so do all three and then come join me in the comment section where we can progress this conversation so i'll leave you here carry on with you in the comment section but here i say peace